Good morning, and welcome back to another day on the Cut Loose channel. Thank you for coming, and what I'd like to say before we start anything, is if you could like, and always, don't forget to comment, and if you want to share with your buddies, I appreciate that too. But thank you. Anyway, enough of that shit, get it out of the way, enough of that, let's get it out of the way. Today, we're going to get busy. Yeah, on the Civic. Woo! First of all, let's get the car out. Let's grant the car back. And crack up. It's a bit better. We've got a bit of spice to work now, haven't we? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What we need to do. Well, do we need a torch? Can you see? Let's get a torch anyway, just in case. First thing I'm going to do is crack this nut off here and empty. The gearbox oil. What's the chances of this going right? Whoa! Oh, that's pretty clean. I don't know about it at all. Maybe the car has been looked after. That looks relatively clean. For what we got planned, it needs to come out, do we? Next will be drive shafts. Get the wheel off, undo the castle nut underneath, and then we can either split the ball joint or we can take the top off. Let's get the wheels off. The oil's nearly drained now. One. It will leak when I pop the shafts out and two, makes it a bit lighter when I'm trying to lift it out. But what I need to do now is take this nut off. This is pushed inside there to lock the nut off. So you just have to hammer it out with a chisel or a blunt bit. And then, because if you're on your own, what you can do is you can, these have got vented discs. So on the driver's side, you put it in there and it locks it off, but on the passenger side left the loosey righty tighty, put it in there and then you get the socket which is uh, one and three quarters I don't know what size, it's just the one that fits you know, hopefully it will work see, it's cracked off good over it and that is how you want to do the nut we now got no one to press the brake the shaft is loose now, so it's just a case of either taking this bottom bolt out or undoing the top of them two. I'll choose one I'm doing in a bit. Oh, I need a, need a steam rack boot. Where's one summer going? Come on, shit. Plug back in. The battery's already disconnected, so I didn't do best around with that. I'm going to concentrate on getting the hubs off. So I'm going to undo this castle nut, pull the pin out. That ain't going to come out, is it? Just in there. Now I'm going to choose what I'm going to do. Okay, what I've done. Is let's get the torch, otherwise, you won't be able to see. Shit. See this hole, see this nut, there's a pin that goes through there. So, I've pulled that out 17 mil, undone this. Now, there's many ways you can do it. You can use a ball joint thing, but you tend to rip the boot. If you're going to replace them, then just use that. But what I'm actually doing is I'm using a jack. And a socket. I'm putting pressure on it and getting it done. Unfortunately, we haven't got a big jack, so we just have to use what we got. Put the lights on for you. You can see. And also, what I noticed, you know that steering rack boot. 
We don't actually have an anti-roll bar either. The links are missing. Full of surprises. Piece of timber. 17. Now put the socket on that. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to get hit in that with a hammer. Because you can round it off, you can hit the threads. You can do all sorts of damage. As you can see, I'm putting pressure onto the suspension. Keep an eye on the wood. Make sure it's lined up pretty well. Then you get this. Don't give up. Just need to find that sweet spot for it to pop. Boom! And that's how you do it. Under the nut. So, your nut is intact. The thread's intact. And then you can lift that off there. And then you get the jimmy bar. Put the jimmy bar on here. And just pop the shaft out. Pull the shaft away. <coughs> oh, I'll rip my glove. Fortunately, you can't take the shaft off because these two ends are too big to fit through here. But it doesn't fall off either. But now, at least both shafts are out and we didn't get shafted. Da -dum <laughs> Terrible, yeah? I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to take the start motor off, disconnect the wires. Busy, yeah? Let me just unplug it from here. That can stay. I need to undo this earth strap here, this 10mm nut. I need to undo the starter motor, which looks like it's two or three plugs maybe. I need to undo this bracket there, no, it's already undone, okay, that sounds. So looks like it's had a starter motor in the past. Luckily for me, my lambda sensor is already unplugged. I'm going to undo these two bolts here, that'll do my slave cylinder bracket. Yeah, so this one nut here, these two nuts here, and then undo that power for starter. Easy. Well that was a pain in the ass. Starter motor's off, so as you can see there's a clip there, this nut there is the power. And there's two 14s, one here, and one just underneath. So these are the bolts, one long one, one short one. Long one goes at the back, short one goes at the front. All the plugs are off, all the wiring's off. The slave's off, that was two bolts there, there were two 10s, and then there was two 12s there. If you've seen the video in the past when I fitted the slave and the master, you'll see it there. Well, you might have done it already, I don't know. Maybe you're just being nosy and want to watch. Thank you. <laughs> coming. Still got all the fluid in. I ain't messing with that. Because it's brand new. So we'll pull it out the way as well. And in theory, by these three bolts here, this one bolt here, then bolts on the back bracket, and then the bellows in bolts. Should pull off. So look. Woo! Woo! Little updates. This is how I put my arrangements. Two on the clutch, one on the earth, two on the lower arm. Two on the slave, two on the gearbox, one on the top. And what I do now is I work left and then round. And that is how I organise my bolts. My bolts. I've undone this one here, that was a 917 that holds on the bracket. I've undone this one, it's a 17 with a bracket. I've undone this one, I was also a 17. I've just cracked this off and done a few rotations, so we should be sweet with that, hopefully. Everything up here, except for that one there, but I can't tell if it undoes that side or this side, so I'm gonna have a look underneath, see what I want, and then we'll go from there. So let's get the car up in the air. Yeah, look at all this room for activities. I think I'm gonna have to undo this bolt which we did yesterday and there's a clip on here which looks like I might be able to undo because I'm leaving the rods on the car excuse my hair it gets hot and I don't care 
but I'm leaving the rods on the car. The gearbox is going away. Chezzy was telling me yesterday that they do a mod on the box and it turns it into an LSD kind of deal. I'm going to look into that a little bit more, but we're going to hopefully get the box off today, get that to them today, because I'm worried that's going to take about a week to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and crack on with the welding. Anyway, let's not worry about that shit. Let's carry on with this. So, this T bracket here needs to come off. This bolt here, that bolt there. Let's just, let's just crack on, shall we? Let's just crack on, have a look. Get it on, boys. I've undone the 12mm on that. I've took the clip off, but I need to push that pin out. But I haven't got a punch the right size. You know what's really difficult as well? He's trying to do all this with spanners and ratchets. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard, you know. Just, just fucking wish we had impact. Anyway, I've undone these two on the T bracket. I've undone that one and now I've took the dust shield off. Like I said, I've took these brackets off. You had to take them off to get the dust shield out the way. But I think this is a captive uh, nut. So I'm going to have to go back up the top and undo that one bolt. And I'll be honest with you, I think that's it. The box, my boys, are we off? You know what the pain in the arse? Because this car is so light. It takes so long to come down on the road. It's a lot quicker with the S15 and the R33 on the ramp. I don't think I'm ever going to put the crown on it. You know when you write, you love it though, yeah? I did watch a video on how to do this. No judgement, we all do it. I wanted some tips, some hidden information. But the one I watched told me I needed to take my oil filter off. And I needed to take a bracket off to get to this bolt. You know if I'd have done that? I'd be, I'd be commenting and shit. Going, why lie, mush? That's the last one. In theory, by these two mounts, we might spot your groonies. They're ready to come off. I'd have been screwing, you know, if I'd have tried to take that off. I looked at it and I tried a spanner on it, 19. I was like, oh, it's too tight, this is. Try the other one. Sound you. Anyways, he did give me some good tips. I'll give you that. Tips I'll give you. But I'll give you a better tip that he didn't give me. He lied to me. Lied to me much. He lied to me. Anyway, calm the fuck down. Just because I've had a bit of energy drink, you know, just kind of get back in the box, guys. Get back in the box. Got me? Got me stickers. Put you on charge for a little bit. Because if the gearbox falls off and smashes into bits, we all want to see it. Oh, hey, hey, wasn't that easy. I had to lie down, wiggle it like this until it fell onto my chest. Obviously, I catched it as best as I could. But luckily, it wasn't too heavy. So, I'm just going to take the pin out of here now. And then I can take that bar off. We're ready to go. Anyway. Now, don't go mad. These straps are rated. These, these straps are rated to enough. There's one mount on, two mounts on. So in theory, it's not going to go anywhere, but I just wanted to put that strap on just to support it's floating now. But I'm not going to worry about the clutch just yet, so I want to get the gearbox off to that place. I can't remember what it's called. See what it's saying? And hopefully it don't fall out. Where's my hat gone? Don't mind being on YouTube and all that, but how good I ain't public much. Oh yeah, it's alright. It's well done to save Grant, because I know he'll have a backflip. 
is I've left his car back so if the engine does fall out which I don't see I'm not going to go to the place that did my SR we're actually getting the gearbox modified so I think I mentioned earlier it's like an LSD conversion summit but let's drink some Rockstar and let's get on the road got no mounts for the car sorry so I haven't said so for a while on the way back drop the gearbox off to get gear transmissions I think they're called it was advised by Shezzy so a trusted judgement he's going to be doing an LSD mod which is a little block with some springs in apparently you can get it on ebay for like 20 quid but I managed to get him down on the price he's going to strip the box down for me see what to go on make sure inside's cool see if the bearings are good the car's done what 110,000 miles or something like that so we maybe need some bearings He's going to replace the seals. He says there's three seals to replace. And the bearings are all good. Should be about a week. Hopefully less. I did tell him we're in a rush. You know I'm saying? Got some mapping to get done. But I'm going to head to the unit again now. I'll grab some fodder on the way home. And I'm going to... I'm going to go back to the studio.